Yes, Tyler. Muni Money indeed. And we have a special guest today, David Hammer. He's PIMCO head of Muni Portfolio. And I'd like to welcome David Hammer. David, how you doing today? I'm doing great, Rick. Thanks for having me. All right. So as we heard Deidre point out, one of the best landscapes in the Muni space in 20 years. You've talked many times, as we've discussed today, that many players are starting to step away for a variety of reasons, like banks and high interest rates and what it's doing to their portfolios in different ways. So as they step away, is this void worth stepping into? Yeah, it is. You know, the, the best credit conditions in 20 years, uh, it's driven by... Uh, expectations a few years ago during the pandemic that tax collections would decline by 10 to 20 percent. Uh, federal relief was crafted based on that expectation. But in reality, tax collections, sales tax, property tax, income taxes, they're up 25 to 30 uh, percent. It's been a big improvement to, to Muni Credit. But while fundamentals have improved, many investors, to, to your point, have really stepped back from the market. 2022 and 2023 and combined a, a record outflow period. Very little of that money has come back to the muni market, a, a different story than uh, investment-grade corporate credit or high-yield corporate credit or institutional investors have been quick to come back. Uh, U.S. investors have been slower, and that means higher yields and, and wider spreads um, than other markets. Now, we have April 15th coming up, David, April 15th, and everybody understands that's tax time. Does that mean anything special for muni investing? Is it uh, some type of seasonal anomaly that occurs when people liquidate parts of their portfolios to pay their taxes? Yeah, this is typically a, a seasonally very weak time of the year. Investors pull money out of their muni allocation to go pay their federal tax bill coming up in a, a week or so here. And at the same time, we tend to see a big increase in supply. And that's happened this year. It's pushed spreads a little bit wider in addition to just interest rates going higher. So uh, relative to the, the peak of a few months ago, major indices are down about one and a half to two percent. This tends to be a pretty good time to, to allocate to munis. And I think, you know, tax efficiency, it's, it's top of mind for investors today. Another uh, thing that we're really recommending our clients do is, is look at their muni allocations and think about harvesting tax losses. It's a good time to uh, consider locking in some of those losses, moving up in, in tax for yield. And we see a lot of opportunities to do that in today's market, especially more active strategies that have more actively managed their dividends relative to passive You ones. know, it's always about risk reward, David. It's always about risk reward. And you're telling me how to get some better reward. Uh, how does that risk parameter, and just go over it superficially, but if you had to look at taxable securities versus muni securities in a risk profile when you want to step up maybe to lower grade of investment grade, uh, how does that fare? Yes, yeah, so we really like allocations that take advantage of the steep yield curve and uh, not rated bonds that we consider higher quality, high yield, a well-structured portfolio. You can earn about 5 percent tax-free with a low investment grade rating today. An investor would have to earn about eight and a quarter percent pre-tax to get the same after-tax return. And outside of the muni market, that means taking a lot more risk. So we like the return profile. We like the yield. We also like the downside in the event that uh, the economy does slow more than what's expected. Investors are, are better protected in asset class that historically uh, has much lower default rates. Now, real quickly, we're almost out of time. Uh, passive portfolios are easy. You know, you buy the ETF, it's on autopilot. But if you have an active portfolio manager that you like, you usually get better results. What do you like? What do you prefer? And what are the opportunities in more of an active approach? Yeah, I'd start with the curve. The Muni curve is upward sloping, about 125 basis points of, of uh, additional yield moving out from 10 years to 30 years. Very different than uh, you know other asset classes where yield curves are, are flat to inverted. So we like a barbell strategy where investors run a lot of shorter term munis, marry that with a longer term allocation, get about the same duration profile as a more passive index uh, with a pickup of 50 to 100 basis points in tax free, tax -free yield. In addition to that, some of the, the not rated segments of the market that I mentioned, specifically assets that are uh, repaid through property taxes. Uh, there's been a big increase in house price appreciation over the last few years. Uh, that's just starting to flow through to assess values in property taxes. So we really see a multi-year tailwind in some of those credits. Excellent, David. Thank you for joining me today. I definitely uh, look at the yield curve and I, I try to weigh all investments as many viewers do. And there's definitely opportunities in the muni space, the taxable side of it versus 
uh, more tax-free immunities certainly presents big opportunity. Thank you for joining us today. Deidre, back to you. And thanks to you, Rick Santelli and your guest, David Hammer. Let's get a quick check on shares of Boeing. They're off by about 2% on the heels of earlier reports that the FAA is investigating claims by a Boeing whistleblower about flaws in the 787 Dreamliner. Senator Blumenthal now reportedly holding a hearing next Wednesday with a Boeing whistleblower on the company's safety culture. We'll continue to watch that story. Coming up, banks are off to a strong start this year, but can that run continue into earnings season? We will ask banking veteran Jackie Reese's next. Plus, Norwegian Cruise Lines just announced its largest order ever for eight new ships over the next 12 years. What's driving the investment and what's the risk of oversupply? We will ask the CEO later on in the show. We'll be right back. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Help build America's future with BAM-insured Muni Bonds. America is strong. And today's investments in essential American infrastructure make it even stronger. Build America Mutual only insures U.S. municipal bonds, providing an added layer of security to improve any portfolio with guaranteed income that helps investors reach their goals. Be part of building America. Build a better portfolio. Invest in BAM-insured bonds. What?